Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. We're approaching the end of November, which means the end of the submission period for this year's Christmas Ornament Challenge. There's a lot of great ornaments entered already, but you only have a few more days to get yours in and get your fun and get your coupons and discount with the vendor sponsors that we have for this year's challenge. But one thing I need for my last ornament is a stand. Uh, and I picked this piece of figured poplar and bent a stainless steel uh, wire for it to hang on. And yeah, I think we should have auxiliary stands for our ornaments in case we don't want to hang them on a tree. So let's turn this off-center Christmas ornament stand. I have a block of figured poplar that seems perfect for a stand. I found the center and nipped off the corners. I have it pressed against my spike plate, a simple face plate with screws driven through to poke through to the top side. This saves me the work of drilling for a screw chuck. For now, I'm simply roughing it round, cutting from the bottom to, to cut side grain. I've seen a lot of experienced turners trying to cut perpendicular to the axis, but that is directly into alternating end grain for a tougher cut. Then clean off the end around the live center and cut a tenon. This will be a sacrificial tenon. With the wood now secure in the chuck, I can finish rounding it. Then measure for an expansion mount. I need to cut a mortise, but to disguise the mortise, I shape a contour out toward the edge. This will leave plenty of wood to keep the mortise from breaking out without making it appear excessively deep. Then sand and finish the bottom with shellac friction polish. Off camera, I turned a plug to fit into the bottom of the stand, that mortise I just cut. I do not want to damage the surface that is already finished. Masking tape and hot melt glue holds things together. It would be difficult to mount to a chuck, so I plan to use a drive center. I have marked an offset on both top and bottom. With an offset of about an inch, the wood is obviously off center. With my large wool gouge, I gently start whittling down the wood, cutting mostly air to start with. Again, cutting from the bottom into side grain. My ideal target is a circle at the same level entirely around the base. But I stop a little shy of that because it looks good already. After a lot of careful cutting, I sand and finish this top side, some by hand, some with a pad, but with the lathe off. Now for a wire loop that will actually hold the ornament. I learned this technique from a fellow club member. I purchased some stainless steel TIG welding rod from a welding supply store. This is 1 16th inch diameter and 36 inches long. For this, I cut it in half and clamp it in my chuck jaws. The end is only about half to three quarter inch into the jaws. Then with the other end clamped in vice grips, I can bend the rod around the chuck jaws. This establishes the basic bend. There is spring back, but with a little handwork, I can make a pleasing shape. Then one end into the new base and hang the ornament on the curve end. 
This is a perfect complement to any ornament. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends about my videos. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I add a new woodturning video to my website. Always, please wear your full face shield for safety anytime that lathe is running. Ten years ago, mine saved my life. I'll see you next week with another woodturning video.